thing is weird. I don't get this thing. So today, you're going to be reacting to this. <gasps> Whoa! It's like a DJ thingamabobber thing, but like really old. Oh my gosh, I cannot think of the name. It's a record player! I have one! Well, first things first, do you know what this is? It's after a phonograph. Tape recorder, n tape player. Radio player. My teacher used to have a record player, so she showed us pictures. This is a record player. A record player? It looks broken. So record players have been used in their primitive forms for over a hundred years and many people still use them today. What? That's a long time. Well, for many years, this was the only way that you could listen to music in your house. Oh, that sucks. I would like rather dance to music like on my mom's phone. This was the only way they could listen to music. I mean, like there's so many ways. I mean, obviously now, like there's phones or iPads or computers. How do you think you play music with this? Just place a CD in it. You put like a disc here and then you like, uh, it moves. Grab a record and then put it on the top. Put the disc on here, put that on here, and it makes music. I don't know what this thing is. All I know is that you gotta go like this, then you poop, and then... So first things first, you're gonna need something else to get this to work. The disc, like the song. So you'll need this. Yay! Found it. CD. Michael Jackson! Yay! So this is called a record. Ooh la la. If you wanted to listen to this way back when, you'd have to drive down to the store and purchase one of these records and then hope the store had them in stock. I don't like that. If you don't know how to drive, that's pretty hard. So what do you think about that system for buying and listening to music back then? If we buy and sell music today, it's like way easier. Google's much easier than this. Hey Google, play whatever. I feel bad for them because you just have to like drive down and maybe you don't even have one near you. I'd rather download all these on my phone. Okay, well, it looks like you already kind of figured it out, but yeah, we're gonna have you put that in and uh, play some music with it. There we go. Never mind. It was upside down. I don't hear anything. This thing is weird, I don't get this. No help. This is all by myself. Does it need white batteries? Wait. Cool. There's balance, tone, loudness, and speed, I think. It's a brand new fidget spinner. I think it's cool. It's good. Okay, that's better. It sounds weird. I can hardly listen to it underwater. I don't know what happened. Since it's a little older, it's a little bit muffled, but I actually really like it. I kind of do like the epic dumb DJ. You can. You do it with the actual disc thing, don't do it with the needle. Oh, okay. DJ really in the house. Record players are like the best. The only problem I have with it, with it is like how portable is it really? It's not as portable as just having your phone in your pocket. From the side of like coolness and like elegancy, it's better. But just from utility and how easy it is to use, obviously worse. So if you wanted to listen to a different song on the album, how do you think you do that? I don't know. I actually have no clue. Are you taking the whole record off? You don't need to do that. Oh, you don't? Nope. What? Um, this thing? Nope. This? Nope. This? Nope. This? Yes. So you actually have to pick up the needle and place it on a different part of the record. We have an iPad or a phone. Now it's easier because you just have to press a button. You see these little marks? It go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
did it. It says Bohemian Rhapsody's on here. This should be Bohemian Rhapsody. So one of the features of this, as you've obviously noticed, is that you can increase or decrease the speed of the song using all you know, the switches there. Yeah. And the reason for this was that different records actually just naturally played at different speeds. It's lower. It's cool. Oh my god. It sounds like a baby. It sounds like Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's cool because what if you were, like have so much energy, you just be like... Why does, wait, what? Why does Freddie Mercury sound like he's an 11 year old? What if we go to 16? Nope, you could put like hidden messages in it. Like if it goes super fast, you can hear this, but if it's normal, you can't hear it. So today, all of your music is not even visible as it is all done digitally. But back in the day, you'd have this massive record player along with a large record just to listen to a few songs and then a whole other large record just to listen to other songs. So what do you think about having to take up this much space just to listen to music? That would be not good because you gotta keep spending money and money and money. The records are pretty big. They would be pretty much stacked over. That would take up a lot of space. How how many songs I have on my phone is probably how many rooms plus 10 are in the White House. I kind of prefer like a small little device. But this takes up almost the whole table. It's definitely not as great as today's music, but this is still awesome. Like I'm still in shock like, th like this actually works. Finally, as we mentioned, people do still use record players to this day. So after using one of them today, do you think you'd ever use a record player to listen to music? Yes. Yeah, you could do like, you could like spin it hard if you're strong enough. Yes. I yeah, like t old technology. Yeah, I'll stick it with my iPad. Yeah, totally. I like it more than listening to it on a phone. I would back away from it. Yeah, I definitely get one. No, because um, our record slayers and storage. What was the slang for awesome back in the day? This is a very radical music player. I would love to, and I will keep doing it. I do have one, so I'm taking this home. Thank you. Thank you for watching Kids React like Monica Gonzalez did last week. Subscribe for new shows and maybe even a shout out like Lindsay O'Hearn got. Leave a comment like Kimberly Carter to get it in the next episode. Bye! Hey guys, Ethan here from FB. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kids React. Do you have a piece of old technology that you'd like to see the kids react to? Let us know what it is in the comments. Bye guys.